Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to mash up your tracks in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2 using the Beat Masher 2 effect. The first thing that you need to do before you can use the effect is assign a track or remix deck to the particular effect unit where the Beat Masher 2 is located. So for us, that's going to be FX Unit 1, and we want deck A to go into the effect. So we're just going to go and click the 1 button next to deck A to assign it to FX Unit 1. Now let's go ahead and actually look at the different controls that we have over the Beat Masher. So what the Beat Masher does is when you turn the effect on, it's going to sample one bar of audio, and then it's going to replay that audio in a couple of different ways. And we have obviously control over how it sounds and how it gets mixed with the original track. When you're using the Beat Masher 2 effect, you typically want the dry wet to be at 100%. And that will only play the loop of audio if you have no other settings changed. It's really important that you have it set all the way to the right or at 100%. Because if you don't, you're going to have a mixture of the original track or songs that are playing. As well as the loop that's playing from the beat masher. And so you can get into lots of phasing issues if you don't have the dry wet set to 100%. Now let's take a look at some of the other controls. Obviously our first button is going to be the reset button. This is the same for all of the effects in Tractor Pro 2. Next we have the warp button. And what this does is that at the beginning of each bar it will just simply resync the looped audio to the audio of the track that's playing. And this may or may not be useful to you depending on how you're using the effect. Finally, we have the reverse button, and this will reverse the sampled audio so that when it plays back, it will be in reverse. And you can do some cool stuff where you have the original track playing that's obviously going forward, and then the reverse of the looped audio when you turn the effect on. Now let's continue on with the different knobs. So the first knob is the gate. And if you have the knob all the way to the left, you're not going to hear any of the effect. It's just gonna sound as if the track was playing. As you move the knob up to the center position, what you're gonna do is you're going to mix parts of the original track that's still playing with the loop of audio that the Beat Masher 2 has captured. And if you have it in the very middle at the 12 o'clock position, you're only going to hear the audio that the Beat Masher 2 effect has captured. So that takes care of the left half, but what about the right half? Well, with this one, what it's going to do is it's going to gate that looped audio. So the more you turn it to the right, the more that looped audio is going to be chopped up. So if you want to simply just play that looped audio. What you're gonna to wanna to do is leave it in the center 12 o'clock position, which is the off value. Next up we have rotation. And what this does is it rotates the looped audio in time. The best way to think about this is that it's going to be slightly delayed the farther you move the knob to the right. If you want to have the audio play exactly when you turn the on button on, you're just gonna to wanna to leave the rotation knob all the way to the left. Finally, we have the length adjustment, and that's the third knob in our effect unit. 
And what this does is it will adjust the length of the sample that's being played. So if we have it at 4-4, four, four, which would be all the way to the left, it's going to play the entirety of the looped audio. And as we turn it to the right, it's going to get to smaller and smaller values, going all the way down to 1 32nd, which will be just a very short sound. For the purpose of this video, we're going to leave it at around 1 16th or 2 16th, depending on the track. And if you really want to mash things up, you can go and leave it at 1 32nd. I would suggest that you put your Beatmasher 2 effect to these same values, so that way you can simply turn the effect on and off and get a similar effect to the one that I'm demonstrating in this video. So let's quickly go over the values again. We're going to have the dry wet at 100% all the way to the right. The gate is at the 12 o'clock position or the center knob area, and it's going to be set to off. Rotation is all the way to the left, and the length is at 1 16th. So now that we've gone over the different controls, go ahead and try out the Beatmasher 2 in your own DJ mixes while you use Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2.